before I start the video, I just want to, well, I guess I, first I should tell you what the video is. I am going to be showing how to make these putty pacifiers. Well, I actually use tack, post, poster tack, which I got at Joanne Fabrics, as I mentioned in the Shopkins video. Excuse me. Uh, anyway, as I mentioned in the Shopkins video, I got these, I got the poster tack at Joanne Fabric. The pacifiers are from the Dollar Tree. So, now before we get on with the video, I am going to say that with the type of Reborns I have, I'm not worried about the, about the tack pulling off any paint. And as far as I know, based on the research I've done online, typically it won't, though you should probably use white tack. I couldn't find white tack, but so far the, I guess this is green, hasn't actually done any harm. No paint's been pulled off. Um, I guess that's why they use these on the walls, because it won't pull off any paint or anything, won't damage the wall. So, we are going to be making a couple of these in the video. Obviously, both of my twins here already have them, and I don't usually use a pacifier with Gabe. So you're probably wondering exactly why I'm going to be making more, especially since I forgot to put these over here, but especially since they're the same pacifiers again. Well, these ones I'm going to be making for my mom because she has some Reborns as well. She has a preemie, and she has um, a newborn that looks sort of like Abby, and she has another newborn. Uh, so t she, she just like me has two boys and a girl, which is kind of funny actually. Um, I also bought her a couple of preemie outfits today at Walmart. I would show those, but well, you know what? Just a second. I'll go. I'll walk over and get them. Sorry, Dylan. I shouldn't have moved you like that. Um, just let Abby keep you company a moment, and I'll get the. Close. Oh, she fell over. Yeah, Abby can't really set up on her own. Sorry about that. I should have been a bit more prepared for this video. Okay, so get Abby back in my lap. Abby, would you mind holding this pacifier for a moment? Thank you. Okay, so here are the onesies. I got her a onesie pack for her preemie. Got a little monkey onesie, just kind of a plain pink one. And this looks white on camera, so let me bring it. There we go. It's purple with, or it's not purple, it's white with purple hearts. I thought these were really cute. I wanted to get a sleeper as well, but the sleeper was a bit more expensive. And this is Child of Mine by Carter. And then the other thing I got was a little pair of pants. It's onesies brand. These are newborns, so I hope they'll fit. They didn't have creamy size in any of the pants. So I do hope those fit because I figure they'll go well with any of the onesies I got her. Okay, so moving on to the pacifier. To start, let's kind of pull and make sure it's all up here. Okay, so to start, you cut off the nipple as low down as you can. I'm going to need to cut that just a little more. And you have to use pretty, like, kitchen scissors typically for this, so if you're a younger viewer, please have a parent help you with the scissors. Okay, so just let me get off the rest of this. Let's see kind of how far down it's cut. Just like as close to the base of the pacifier as you can get it. Uh, okay. So, then, after you've got that done, um, over here. you just take a bit of your tack. I just use one square, some people use more. And you just kind of rub that, or roll it rather, not rub it. You roll it around in a ball till it starts to feel kind of sticky. You obviously don't want it too sticky. You want it to come on and off in her mouth really easily. I actually made Dylan's too sticky at first, and when I took it off, he just had like putty or tack rather on his upper lip, but it didn't do any harm. It came off real easy and I fixed his pacifier so it wouldn't do that anymore. So we'll just take Abby's pacifier off and set it aside. And I'll use the new one to show you how it 
sticks. Some people like put baby powder on it afterwards so that it doesn't, so it's a little less sticky, but I don't have any baby powder, and as I already said, these ones here haven't been doing any damage. And probably won't, based on what others in the Reborn community say. So, we'll just get the putty pushed on. I push it kind of flat, and then, I don't think that's too sticky. Just push it into the mouth. There you go. You got a putty pacifier. And nope, it wasn't too sticky. None's left on her lips. See? Okay, so that's the girl passy done. And let's see how long is this video. It is... We're almost at the six minute mark. So I think we have time to go ahead and do the yellow passy. The yellow passy is the one... I sort of intended it as a boy passy, since wh hence why Dylan's using one, but, I mean, it's unisex, so you could put duck passy, because that's a duck. You can put that on either one of their, them, like, you could use it for a boy, you could use it for a girl, and they had other ones, too, at our dollar store. They have lions, they have, I think there was one with, like, a cheetah on it. Oh, I got that pretty close on the first try. They just have all types of them, so... Just choose the ones you like. And of course you could use this for other dolls as well that you might want to make a pacifier for, I'm sure. But again, uh, be careful what type of dolls you use it for and just make sure, like if you're concerned about the paint, then I wouldn't do it, but just make sure that the paint is the kind that tack won't mess up. You just look that up, I suppose. I'm not really sure how you would find out if your attack would mess up your doll. If you're feeling a bit brave, I guess you could just kind of experiment with it and try it like that. I don't know. This is just how I do mine. You guys, if you don't like the idea, you can try something else, but... For me, it's been harmless, and for lots of other people, this putty pacifier thing's been harmless, so... I'm just going to continue using it. Okay, just push it flat. One day I would kind of like to have one with a magnet in its mouth, though. But these two don't have magnets, so putty is necessary. This is just one way you can do it if you don't have a magnet in your reborn's mouth. If you're concerned about the paint, as I've said numerous times now, then you don't have to do it like this. There are other ways, I'm sure, but again, this is just how I do it. So there's that, just like I showed with the other one. And we'll just put this on. And again, if you want it to be a little less sticky, you can use... Yeah, that wasn't too sticky. You can put a little baby powder on it. There are other tutorials that are probably a bit better than mine that show that. And mine was kind of a spur-of-the-moment thing where I finished the pacifiers, and then I recorded a Shopkins video, and then I thought, well, I still have to do the other two pacifiers, so I might do a quick video on that. So yeah, this is how I modify my pac pacifiers. And as I've said numerous times, there's never been any issues with the paint. So... Sorry, I'm picking up little bits of pacifier that got dropped onto the table where the camera's propped. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And and if you did, I hope you stick around for whatever comes next. Thanks guys. Um bye.